Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Mikeller. This is a double IPA. This is Chop Shop, an experimental series from them. But uh, the reason why it's called Chop Shop, if you've ever been to City Field, um, it's actually a pretty terrible neighborhood, actually one of the worst neighborhoods. Um, not that it's necessarily dangerous, it's just like a lot of chop shops. It's cars and parts and terribly paved roads and just nothing cool. There's, you know, if you're in the area, Get off the train, hang out in City Field, hang out at McKellar. There's nothing in the area unless you want to go a good distance to get to Flushing, which does have great food and, and great culture and all that good stuff. But uh, Chop Shop, yeah, it's just a bunch of terrible car places. But anyway, this is an FU IPA, 8.3% brewed with all of the uh, Cheater Hops, Citra Mosaic, and Simcoe, uh, along with uh, Conan Ale Yeast Strain, so the or New England Ale Yeast Strain, so whatever buyer of yeast you get it from it is traditionally conan uh, from uh, alchemist so beer comes in a medium to deep amber color medium haze on there pretty dark actually let's get the aroma on this one yeah pretty flat on the nose i mean these beers might just have do issues again uh, dissolved auction issues as an auction in uh, package it's just laying pretty flat on the nose a little bit of multi sweetness, cheers. Yeah. That's old beer. That's terrible. Ugh. Super stale, uh, lacking of hop quality. For me, it, it's a cool one to tr sort of figure out um, how to get familiar with old beer. Um, it's one that's hard to describe for me. In general, you can sort of tell because there's a difference in aromatics and flavor. Like you just see a beer sort of pop out of the glass. Whereas when you're lacking that, then you know that something might be wrong on the palate and get that. The malts drive through. Again, oxidation for me when I uh, took Certified Cicerone um, was a little bit different of a tasting note. It's, it's, it's a little bit more complex than just simply spiking beer with diacetyl, which is very clear, or light striking beer. Uh, which is very clear to me. It's a very clear flaw. Which is, whereas this one is, to me, is a little bit more nuanced and involves you to dig through the malt and understand the nuances of hops and find where it fails. No bueno. Yeah, this just tastes like old beers to me, even though it's a month fresh. So it um, doesn't taste like an FU IPA. Uh, very unfortunate. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.